So I hear you want to become a beetle parent. Are you looking for a low maintenance? Oh my god, I sound like I'm doing like an insurance commercial, but seriously, are you looking for a low maintenance pet that's also child friendly but doesn't break the bank? Something your child can actually look after and enjoy and also be part of their education at school. But that pet doesn't exist, I hear you say. But yes, it does. I give you sun beetles. Look no further guys, sun beetles are here. You don't need to commit to taking them for a walk every day or huge vet bills when something goes wrong or even cleaning and feeding them every day, something as simple as that. So welcome to my video on six reasons why sun beetles could be the best pet for you and your child. Those of you who haven't already subscribed, my name's Amy and I have a massive passion for any weird and wonderful animals. If you subscribe to my channel, you can expect to see care guides, enclosure builds, and any other things pertaining to my complete menagerie of pets that I keep. And I also absolutely love and have a passion for introducing you, my subscribers, who I love very, very, very much, and I am very, very grateful for, to an alternative pet that you might have otherwise overlooked. So let's start off with why some beetles, six reasons why some beetles are absolutely brilliant beginners invert or pet for anyone okay number one they're cheap they're extremely cheap to buy they're extremely cheap to keep and to set up the enclosure in the first place especially I know for a fact in the UK they are actually deemed as or they can be used as feeders for other animals such as reptiles so that makes them extremely easy to access so you can get these via eBay or possibly even pet shops that might sell them as live food you can buy them as the grubs and actually watch them form into their cocoons and then pupate and become adults it's a fantastic process to watch so yeah they're really really easy to source um you just literally type it in online ebay or even amazon might have them but yeah they just get sent through your letterbox actually in a very safe way obviously and yeah you've got your sun beetles and they range from around about i think you get like six beetles for around about 20 pounds so yeah it's a really really cheap pet keeping these sun beetles is relatively cheap as well if you have quite a warm home they can thrive without any additional lighting or heating but it is suggested that they use a whole overhead heat lamp for these beetles as they do originate from Africa so yeah even that is quite cheap in itself you know a setup for that isn't going to break the bank enclosure wise it's going to be as cheap as even one of these you could have one of these as long as it's well ventilated these really useful boxes or you can have a plastic phonarium like I keep mining or even a lovely secondhand aquarium that you could like do out as a bioactive enclosure you can go so cheap with these animals so yeah that is my number one reason why some beetles are a great option option as a pet. I think one of the biggest deal breakers for me, especially with children, is the maintenance side of things. So these are extremely low maintenance. They are honestly next to no maintenance at all. So what I mean by this is you can have them in a bioactive setup or a semi-bioactive setup where you can add something called springtails. And these will just act as like mini cleaners that go around and they will clean up any debris or any feces or anything as they go. You hardly ever need to change out their substrate. Obviously, that's not to say you don't ever have to clean them out, but it's not like a daily thing with if you had a dog or a cat or something. You know, it's something that you can change out periodically rather than daily. What I suggest is changing out the substrate or like half of the substrate every like six months or so. They are literally that easy to keep. They eat the same as us pretty much you know in the way of fruit and veg and all that they will eat certain types of fruits like bananas or apples or anything like that so literally your leftovers can go in and they can act as a mini recycling plant for your leftover food really and that is what they eat so yeah a really cheap option for feeding as well some beetles themselves are not as high maintenance as say other beetles such as like your hercules type beetles the larger type beetles or your jewel beetles and everything they are still quite easy animals to keep but some beetles honestly they are a lot more easier and which is why they're a good beginner species you'll need to mist them like daily just so that they've got access to water and stuff so yeah really low maintenance actually all in all number three so this seems to be a deal breaker for some people, not so much for me, but they don't get fed live food. So whereas your mantids and stuff, some people will refrain from owning them because they don't like the idea of actually feeding them another creature, which is absolutely fine. Some beetles are completely vegetarian. You'll have no troubles there at all. Like I said, it's just gonna be your fruit and your veg. Fear no more. These beetles are vegan friendly and everything. You don't need to be feeding them crickets or locusts or anything like that. They could benefit actually from maybe dried crickets or something 
again for a nice protein source but other than that you are literally just sticking to fruit and veg actually as we're on the topic of live feeding then and people being put off from live feeding just out of interest really out of my curiosity comment down below and let me know how how are your feelings about feeding live food is this why you haven't kept possibly certain reptiles or anything and just strictly keep to vegetarian type species so when i say fruit and veg and everything they do tend to like the more ripened fruits so like a nice ripe overly ripe banana that you're not going to eat necessarily and you're just going to pop it in for your sun beetles same with apples if they're nice and ripe or pears or something like that then it's nice and ripe for them normally you just pop it on the surface of their substrate and then when you've got grubs then all of a sudden you'll see all the food disappear and they go underneath and all the grubs are then obviously digesting it and everything as well another thing that they would like as a treat and everything like with mine if I have a bit of leftover Pangea or Rapashi crested gecko mix then I'll pop that in with them because that's like a fruit based type food for them uh, same with the African land snail food if I've got a leftover protein mix I'll pop that in with them as well so that's your third reason why I believe these are a great beginner species so they're first of all cheap secondly they're low maintenance and third you don't have to feed them any live food so number four do you remember when you were in school and you'd learn about all the life cycles of uh, butterflies and things like that you can experience this in your very own home which, which is another reason why I think these are absolute brilliant pets for children especially these are an absolutely great addition for kids to actually experience that in real life and then they can go into school and they can be like I know this life cycle off by heart you know I got these beetles at home and I know the entire life cycle and it's just really interesting to watch I think this is what really gets me into it and I love getting the kids involved and showing them in their grub stage when they're starting to pupate and they're in their cocoons and everything it's just really nice seeing that progress from grub up to adult beetle and the adult beetles are absolutely stunning they don't live very long either which could also be a plus for some people because um as an adult they live between three to six months so you haven't got a massive commitment either whereas obviously dogs cats reptiles they can live for years and years and years and that just might not be suited to some people's lifestyle so yeah they they're a really interesting pet to keep even if it's for children or just geeky adults like myself that are just interested in watching it from start to finish. There's sort of like a satisfaction for me in seeing the whole life cycle from like grub all the way up to adult beetle it's just nice seeing that entire process start to finish they form like these little funky cocoons when they enter the pupil stages they start taking all of the um, different substrate and stuff that you've got in there and forming this cocoon around themselves and i just think i think it's absolutely amazing how that happens how nature works and everything so yeah basically they form these cocoons when they enter the pupil stages before emerging as adults and after then the adults lay eggs that then grow into these grubs and then the grubs then they will start to pupate once more and the cycle can continues. I will have a more in-depth video on my channel if you are interested and you could use it to show your children, your grandchildren, whatever, just to get them in the mood for owning these beautiful creatures. Okay, number five, kind of the opposite, the polar opposite really of um, point three when I'm saying not, you don't need to feed them live food, but number five is they can be used as a feeder animal. So, so yeah, free food guys, like I know I wouldn't turn down free food if I had it, but yeah, this is kind of the reason why I wanted them because I've got my leopard gecko and I could use the smaller grubs as a live food for her. So if I ever, ever, for any reason, you know, anything's possible nowadays with COVID and stuff. If I ever couldn't get hold of live food, I know I've got my own little colony in like reserve for her. So I could use the grubs then to provide nourishment to my other animals. So yeah, they are a really, really great choice to have not only as a pet, but then you can use the grubs then as feeders. So yeah, brilliant, free food. Obviously just check your species specific, as I always say species specific, just check that your animal, if you are gonna use them as a feeder, these are suitable as a feeder because there might be some animals out there that actually don't do well having these as food. The best way I find out if like these particular ones are no good as food is like on your Facebook groups etc. If you can ask on there, there's a lot of people have got a lot of experience in different types of species of reptile or whatever else you're thinking about feeding these grubs too so yeah just ask around on there and see if anyone else is trying it if not i kind of steer away from doing that but yeah for leopard geckos i know a lot of people do use these as a feeder when i use these as a feeder though the grubs are quite bitey and everything they've got these little tiny jaws not to put you off or anything they're just little pinchy jaws and what i'll do then if i'm feeding sapphire which i ha actually haven't i haven't actually used them because i don't really want to use them as a feeder because i've just fallen in love with them so much but if i were to i just remove the head I know that sounds minging you just want to remove the head so you're not going to have it bite in your gecko or anything and you don't want to be feeding them the larger grubs um you're going to be going for them when they're a little bit smaller so yeah it's just nice having this colony and having that as like an insurance there knowing that if any 
reason at all in the world I couldn't get hold of live food then I've always got something there for my animals okay last reason there's probably plenty of other reasons why but I'm trying to keep it to six my last reason then for these being an absolute brilliant beginner and just a brilliant species to keep is that you can keep them in like a pretty bioactive setup now these are stunning looking beetles they've got this bright yellow coloration with these orange little circles on them and the contrast in black underneath they're a very very pretty beetle in my opinion so yeah why not put these as like a display piece in a bioactive setup in a nice glass varium and everything it could look absolutely stunning with that nice pop of color so if you like the thought of a nice terrarium setup these stunningly beautiful bright color little guys are a great display addition these use all areas of the enclosure as well and love to have a climb around so there's never a dull moment when you have these in a terrarium setup they set it off absolutely beautifully just be sure that you check your enclosure is suited to their needs feel free to add some like little custodians such as wood lice pill bugs sprig tails to add movement to the terrarium also and also as a cleanup crew i know some people that have also added these sun beetles into certain reptile enclosures and stuff i don't really want to give details on that because i'm not sure myself and i haven't really looked into that but yeah by all means have a little look into that it might be nice to have them within another setup you know like a multi-communal setup but just check that it's right for both animals so are you a beetle parent already or are you just thinking about being a beetle parent leave a comment down below and i want to just know then if i've managed to turn you to the dark side yet or not so if i've managed to convince you into becoming a beetle parent then be sure to check out my other videos on caring for the adult sun beetles caring for the larvae and setting up a terrarium for your sun beetles I'm also going to be putting one up on the life cycle too so this one might be a really nice one to show your children so guys thanks very much for watching again i really do appreciate you watching these videos check out my links in the description below i've got my instagram down there um click subscribe so that you're not going to be missing any of my future videos on beetles on isopods whatever it is that you want to watch so i'll see you all again soon and make sure you're safe out there okay bye guys